I played junior hockey in Red Deer, Alberta. I, uh, I was there for grades 10, 11, and 12, going to high school there. 1,200 kids, just, yeah, it was just uh, the regular kids going, and then a couple of us hockey guys. We'd only take about two or three classes, uh, you know, each day. So in the morning, it'd be whether it's 8 a.m. till 11 o'clock. Um, there were only hour classes. Um, and then we had to practice at 1 o'clock. The hardest part about balancing school and, you know, just our schedule was whether being on the road and not being in school, you know, not being involved and not, you know, listening to the teacher one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So that was definitely the hardest part. No matter what time you got back, the day before we'd get in from a road trip at like three, four in the morning, go home, sleep a couple hours, and our coach always made us go to school, right? And if we were late, they, they knew about it. The principals and things like that were told to call our coach and tell them if we were late for school. So when you're missing a week to 10 days of school and coming back and having to write a test, it's <laughs> far from easy, that's for sure. We had tutors and things like that to help you out, which was nice. You know, other students maybe treat us a little differently. Some people really like you, and then there's some guys that aren't too fond of you, I mean. I wouldn't say jealous, but kind of maybe annoyed with us getting away with things. Uh, yeah, I don't know what if what the problem is there, but obviously you're not gonna get along with everyone or not everyone's gonna like you. And I, I love my time in juniors and uh, it's definitely, it's, it's privileged and uh, I enjoy my time there. Mm -hmm.